What's up everybody? Derek here and welcome to an urban spring. <laughs> you see that trickling water right here? It is going right down under the interstate. So this is a little bit different of a video. Not used to doing a lot of urban fishing like I am right now, but it is quite literally as urban as it gets. We're going to a spot that could literally be right under your nose as you're driving on the interstate. And you wouldn't even know this was here. As you see right back there is the Austin to Waco sign. So we in the heart of this city. But this spot right back in here, it's hopefully holding some little fish, not big fish, but some cool little fish and some little pools that we're gonna go catch. So let's get to fishing. This is one long tunnel. Hello! graffiti all over the place but this is what I came in here for right there there has got to be some fish down in there I'm hoping so let's see if we can't catch something all right I'm gonna be using these gulp minnows right here I've still got a couple that are left and the scent from them is hopefully gonna bring these things in and they're smaller so yeah they're hardening up See if we can find one that's straight. There's one that's straight. I'm hoping that's a small enough setup for what we're gonna try. Uh, oh, I see some fish down in there. I see them down in there. Let's see here. Oh, they're running. There's a little pool right there. Got one that was cool wow look at the colors on this red breast dang that was pretty sweet as soon as I threw in that little hole thanks buddy so the minnow is working they should be all in that little pool right there let's see Oh, got another one right there. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's a uh, green sunfish right there. Dang, look at the oranges on that dude. Wow. Let's see if another one will hit it. Got that one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Another green sunfish. All right, let's try this again. Same ca as soon as it hit the water. Man. This is good times already. We had some rain not too long ago and it's just some decent, some decent little trickle through this little hole. Man, as soon as that one hit the water. How many fish are in this little spot? God. It's just cast after cast. Got one. Gosh, it's like all green sunfish down in there. I mean, I did catch that red breast, but these are some good looking fish. There's one. Jeez. All right, let's try it again. Right in the back. There's one. God. It's every cast. These fish probably are just so hungry sitting in this little spot. I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of bugs and other stuff that fall in that water and there's tons of minnows I see. Got one. <laughs> just work this thing and just like an erratic action of a kind of like a weightless stick bait with this little bitty minnow and man they're nailing it. Man. 
They must be just sitting down there in those rocks. I wonder if there's any bass in here because it seems like it's all panfish. Got one. Oh, that's a little bit better of one. Yeah. They just keep pouring out of that hole. Look at the colors on that dude. Well, that's funny, there's a shopping cart. Let go, bud. Little guy. Let's see if there's maybe one tucked up under that rock still. And I still have another little pool right over there. Oh, and tons of fish. They look super active over there. Oh, yep. Up under that rock, just like I thought. God. They're just loaded in this spot. Got him. They are down there in that little pool. Right under those rocks. That's where they're at. Can't even see them. This other little pool actually looks pretty good too. I don't really see any, but I didn't see any in this pool at all. What the? <laughs> There's a camera right there. Seems like people that are always... What kind of camera's that? Is that LG? Oh, there's bugs or something all over it. Interesting. Nasty. Let me get up here and cast right here and then work my way around the corner. Oh, I got one right there as soon as I hit the water. Oh, no, don't get all wrapped up. Another green sunfish. Nice. I'm hoping this doesn't spook them. They don't seem to be spooked down in there. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. That's a good one right there. A little bit more weight to that guy. These green sunfish put up a good fight. Got big old mouths. Oh, let go, buddy. You really got that hook. Nice. Oh, this is a cool looking color on this one. Look at those colors. God. Oh. You gonna make it, buddy? You ain't gonna make it down there. I bet I could leave it just like that. Let's see if it catches one with the minnow all messed up. The minnows are like the same exact size. Got one. Oh, nice. Tons of green sunfish in this hole. Oh, that one. Oh, there was a big one that was trying to eat it over there. I could see it right off that rock. Let me try it again. Got it. it that was the one that was on a bed. Let me try it again. There's a ton of them over there. Oh, out of the water for that one. Nice. That's a good green sunfish right there too. Dang. Let go of it, buddy. Here we go. Pretty fish down here. You could actually lip them. Oh yeah, thanks bud. Woo, it's getting hot down here in this bottom, but these little pools right here go to show you that you don't have to track miles back in the wilderness to find a creek and fish it just to catch as many fish as I caught in this little spot. And literally the interstate is right up there. Semis driving by. I mean, this place, it was almost like every single cast there was a fish. Coming to nail that minnow. This little spot and that little spot back in there. So, I wonder if this is kind of a new testing grounds for some, maybe some new lures just to try out, but I think these fish will just about eat anything. But one thing I do want to try is coming down here with a cast net and seeing how many minnows I can catch. But thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.